All right, how's it going? So today I'm back in Daejeon to give you a look at the Hanwha Eagles. I did come here last year for a game and I was able to get a little bit of a first impressions here on this place. I had an absolutely amazing time, so I definitely wanted to come back here for the 2019 season. At that game though, the weather wasn't the best. It was raining and it kind of put a little bit of a damper on the atmosphere. The crowd was alive regardless, but I definitely wanted to come back here with a little bit more knowledge on the place to see what it's like on a gorgeous day like today. To give a little bit of history about the team, the Hanwha Eagles are one of the older teams in the league, having been formed in 1986. During their time in the KBO, they've won three championships, 1989, 1992, and 1999. Throughout their entire existence, they've always sported the black and orange color scheme. And for most of their existence, they've been playing here at this ballpark, so the fans definitely have a lot of history with this building. So let's take a bit of a walk around here and see what's going on on this day at this ballpark. All right, so I'm out here in the outdoor concourse of the stadium. And what's drawing a big crowd is that the Hanwha Eagles cheerleaders are all up on this stage having a little meet and greet signing autograph session. These cheerleaders are actually drawing a little bit of buzz around the league this season as one of their cheerleaders is actually a foreigner. So everyone is really curious about that. And they're all lining up for the chance to meet her. So in, out, and around the stadium, you'll never really be short on any chicken options. The chicken inside is pretty good and probably some of the best I've had in a Korean ballpark. And there's also these fresh stands that are right outside the stadium. It's chicken coming fresh off the fryer and I'm noticing a deal for a box of boneless pieces for only 7,000 won. A box around the same size could run you for about 20,000 won inside the stadium. So this is definitely a good deal. When getting into the stadium, this is one of the ballparks that does do bag checks, but just like everywhere else, they're very lenient when it comes to outside food and beverages, so you don't have to worry about much getting in here. So inside the ballpark here on this great day, behind me are today's opponent, the Samsung Lions, which are a team based out in Daegu. They're getting in right now what is probably the last of their batting practice, as we have about an hour left until the first pitch. And here's a great look at this place. It's gonna be a good one. So my seats for today are going to be in the cheering section, but I'm actually standing out here right in front of center field. This is something that is rare to see and definitely something worth showing off for this ballpark. In most Korean ballparks, infield and outfield seats have separate gates and there's always a gate locking the two sections. Here in Daejeon though, it's completely the opposite. You have full room to roam. You can even do a full 360 around the stadium if you wanted to. So if you're one of those Zach Campbell type ball hawks, this is definitely the park for you. But it's also just great if you want to see the game from many different angles, and really it's awesome just to have the freedom to be wherever you want in the ballpark. Seats in the outfield also include these little mini table style seats, which have some pretty big cup holders and a lot of room to place all of your food and belongings. They even have a little stage out here in right field where you have plenty of room to catch some low flying home run balls. They also have these little patches of lawn seats out in center field, which is great if you want to bring a picnic mat or a table and just lounge out and enjoy a ball game. Here's a rundown of the concessions that you can find at this ballpark. This is one of the few stadiums that actually has oranges and bananas on their concession stands. And copious amounts of chicken and beer. Uh, their only foreign brand that they have here I see is Chintao. It's a little hard to see here, but they have cheese poutine fries. A bunch of other Korean street food staples here. And you can't forget the ever famous tteokbokki and sundae blood sausage. There's the common site of Steph hot dog and also Pizza Hut. They have different baskets of fried and dried squid. New York Burger is here. There's some kimbap and fresh stir fry right off the grill. Coffee and bingsu can be found throughout. And last but not least, they gotta have churros here, of course. This is also one of the best deals to find here in the KBO. A ticket in the cheering section only costs 12,500 won, which is an absolute steal of a deal. So the crowd's basically all in here. Game time is only minutes away, so let's get down to the field and enjoy the action. Now to introduce the Hanwha starting lineup and team songs. Batting first is the second baseman, Jung Un Won.
Batting second is the shortstop, Oh Sun Jin. Batting third is the third baseman, Song Kwang Min. Batting fourth, playing center field, is Jared Hoying. Batting fifth is the designated hitter, Lee Sung Yul. Batting sixth is the first baseman, Kim Taekyung. Batting seventh is the left fielder, Choi Jin Hang. Batting eighth is the catcher, Choi Jae Hoon. And batting ninth is the right fielder, Yang Song Wu.
this game still in its beginning stages. Samsung put up four runs in the fourth inning, but right now we're here in the third, and Hanwha has the bases loaded with one out. So here's a big chance for this place to go crazy. Couldn't get any more crazier. They got a wave going on here too. That was the third inning here at the Eagles Park. This place was absolutely on fire as Hanwa put up eight runs in the bottom of the third. The score now sits at eight to four, Hanwa. So we're here in the seventh inning. The score is 10 to four. It's been a great game with a lot of offense. And this place is never short of any amusement. This is a great ballpark. So it's here in the ninth inning. The Hanwha Eagles have been up big for the pretty much the majority of this game. They're just looking to close it out. All right, so that is the end of the game. The Hanwha Eagles ended up taking this by a score of, wait a second, it was yeah, 12 to five. Absolute barn burner, a lot of offense and it was a great day to be out here. I've been here twice now, and I can say that this is always gonna be a fun ballpark. It has one of the best atmospheres in the league. The crowd is absolutely electric at all times, and it's just a great place to experience Korean baseball if you've never had the chance to do so before. Even if you had, still come here. It's really awesome. So thank you for joining me again on another edition of Hanoi Eagles Baseball here, and another, another edition of Korean Baseball. But happy to have you along for the ride, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.
Day, morning, whatever you're watching it, just have a good one.